ship Vanguard. May God bless her and all who sail in her. As with a light touch, she broke to life that inanimate mass of steel to send it gliding irresistibly down to the waters of the Clyde. My Lord Mayor, may it please your Royal Highnesses, my Lords, ladies and gentlemen, if these venerable walls were to receive the gift of tongue, they could tell of many a scene such as this, when a member of the Royal Family has been graciously pleased to accept at the hands of this mother of corporations the freedom of the City of London, and yet the occasion today is unique, for never before has a royal princess conferred such an honor upon our city by taking upon herself this freedom, the freedom which in the present instance we cannot bestow as a gift, for it is hers by absolute and indefeasible right of patrimony as the freeborn daughter of our greatest and most cherished uh, citizen, His Majesty the King. <laughs> In extending to... <laughs> we do not forget, my Lord Mayor, high policy demanded that one in so exalted and so exceptional a position must be debarred in time of war from joining one of the services. But was not that policy changed? By what means of persuasion, we know not. And did not the princess attain her heart's desire of receiving at the hands of her august father his commission in the auxiliary territorial service? And <laughs> And so it came to pass that the heiress presumptive to the throne brought lasting honor to a magnificent corps of women, and in doing so, brought honor and undying admiration to herself. that I will be obedient to the mayor of the city, that I will maintain the franchises and customs thereof. Who presents Her Royal Highness the Princess Elizabeth? The master and wardens of the worshipful company of the Drapers. <laughs> My Lord Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed an honor for me to come and receive as a sister of the Draper's Company the freedom of our great city of London. As you have recalled, that freedom is a right which I possess by patrimony. Nonetheless, I am very proud to think that today my name is being added to the long list of those members of my family on whom it has been conferred in the past. I am deeply touched by your kind words of welcome, and I can only say that my heart is filled with gratitude. My Lord Mayor, I feel very proud of the fact that I was born in this great metropolis. <laughs> Ever since the days of our early history, when this spot was chosen by the Romans as the hub of their network of roads, this city has played a wonderful part in the life of our country. The City of London has always been in the forefront of those eager to make peaceful commerce 
the means of bringing understanding to different peoples and races. It has inspired and has provided the means of carrying out some of the most adventurous exploits ever recorded in the annals of our island. And the spirit of determination which... His Majesty the King, citizen and draper of London, and that she was born in lawful wedlock after the admission of her father into the freedom of this city, that she is his daughter, so reputed and taken to be, and so they all say. keep this city harmless in that which in me is, that I will also keep the king's peace in my own person, that I will know no gatherings nor conspiracies made against the king's peace, but I will warn the mayor thereof, or hinder it to my power.